Hi, this is Ben Newton from Sumo Logic. I'm excited to talk to you today about one of our newest features that we released called Outlier Detection. Now, this is something that we've been doing with our log base data, and now we've added the ability to do this with our time series metrics data. So here you can see that I've been uh, doing a query for CPU usage on uh, one of my uh, servers here. And so I can see a bunch of different uh, usage lines here, and I want to see where the statistical outliers are. So now I can click on this little red target circle here, and I have this new uh, dialog, and I can enable view outliers. So here we see one outlier right here, uh, and I can see exactly what the uh, expected range was and the standard deviation. So this one is way out of uh, the normal behavior for this line. Now, there are three different um, options that you can use for our outlier detection uh, capability here. Uh, first of all, you can see how many that you want to see. What are the top 1, 3, 5, 10, or 15 outliers? And then you determine based on what. Is it per chart? So every line that you see on the chart, per query, or per series. So if we add another query here, so I've got another query of uh, memory. Now notice when I uh, change that, now the top outlier of the lines that are being viewed is actually uh, one from the memory here. Now if I change this to 15, we'll see that uh, for we're seeing 15 across the entire chart, so it's a mix. And I could also do that per query. And now we'll see a slightly different set, so a few more uh, pop up on the uh, first query around CPU. And I can also do it per series, and we'll see an enormous number at this point. Now when you choose the right way to um, view the number of outliers you want, you can also change the threshold. And what this is determining is how uh, out of norm a uh, outlier data point has to be for it to show up. So if you have it very low here, then you'll see a lot more outliers. And here you see a bunch of popping up. And if we look at those, we'll see that they actually have a much lower uh, standard deviation out of the norm. Now if you change this uh, on the other side of the scale, then they actually have to be much, much higher. So we, here we can see this is over stand, seven standard deviations. So in this way, you can adjust the sensitivity and exactly what you want to see on the screen and get the right, uh, right set of outliers for you so that you can understand exactly what's going on. Now what you can do is that when you have uh, added these outliers, you can actually add them to the dashboards as well. So if you go and uh, click here and add a dashboard, what you actually see is on your dashboard, you will see uh, exactly the, that same outlier viewpoint. And in this way, you'll be able to uh, detect these in real time on your dashboard. So here we can see that I've done that for a few different things on my dashboard, and here I'm seeing outliers for my um, uh, for customer logins, for um, latency by component, CPU, and memory. So in this way, I can use that to very easily visually on the dashboards uh, that I'm putting up on the big screens in our operations room. I can see exactly what's going on. So that is outlier detection. Please take a look at it and give us feedback. We're um, happy to hear from you and thanks for your time. This is again is Ben Newton from sumologic.com. Thank you.